Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. Last time we came to this Pab Pab village, and we met this guy named Bade, who, uh, I think he was a master in Breath of Fire 3, wasn't he? Anyways, he married this little guy, a girl, because why not? Um, and yeah. So now uh, one of the Pab Pabs is sick, however, and we have to go and try and find a cure to make her healthy again. Him healthy again, it healthy again. So, in order to do that, they told us last time we need to go back to the village of Lip. So, let's go ahead and head up there. And now I do not need to help out the fairies. They actually have like 100 food. They're fine. All right. <clears throat> Now, you remember last time I showed you also about another fishing spot that you can find on the boat? Well, there's actually more you can do on the boat, so let's go ahead and use the ship. And now I'm actually going to show you how to use the boat, because we actually need to do it this time. Okay, so, oops, nope, <clears throat> that's not what I wanted to do. Yes, let's go, please. All right. Now. So basically, I'll just kind of explain it real quick. So you see we've got wind there. Now, whenever the sail is up, uh, the ship will go in the direction of the wind. So right now, we're going the opposite against the wind. So yeah, so the ship's not moving on its own. Um, but if you, want to, if you want the ship to move on its own, you hold the circle button. But it uses up your supplies in the bottom, you see right there. Okay, so now the ship's moving on our own, so we don't have to necessarily use as many... Uh, we don't have to necessarily row as much. Now, every time you see an area with the flag, you want to stop and explore. Now, this is, I believe, where we found the fishing spot the last time. Yeah. So we don't need to go back here. So let's go ahead and get back on the boat. And now you can get there uh, from the world map just by using the fishing spot. But what we actually want to do now, let's go ahead and use the sails. I want to head down this way. There's actually some different kinds of treasures you can find. Ah, no, see, there's a red flag. Now, whenever you see a red flag, you want to definitely want to stop and explore. Yeah, we can pick up a chest. And we get some water wards. Very nice. All right, let's get back on the boat. All right. Now, when you run out of supplies, I'll show you what happens here. You're automatically sent back to the last place you started from. Which, in this case, is is a lip. Okay, so let's keep going now. And the wind moves at different speeds, and it's kind of random when it does. Okay, let's see. I believe there's another chest up here, if my memory serves me correctly. Ah, there we go. Let's see how can I make it. Whew, made it. And if you're relatively close, uh, you'll be able to stop and pick up the chest. Very good. And we get some bent screws. Very good. Well, actually, not very good. There's not a whole lot we can do there. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to port. All right. Oops. <clears throat> Why do I always do that? Oh, I, I, I pushed explore. Yeah, and if you push explore while there's nothing there, um, you get this dialogue. Looks like there's nothing here. So, just keep that in mind. I want to use the sail. I can't use the sail there. Okay. Let's go this way. Now for this next ch ch uh, chest, you actually want to go, I believe it's around this way. Aha, yeah. Maybe, if the game will let me. Thank you. And I'm going to turn around and head this way. Now you, now you can turn your boat around without using any supplies. But you can't... But if you move, it actually uses up supplies there. So just keep that in mind. And we get some water bombs. Cool. All right. And now I'm going to have to head back to the port. All right. Very good. All right. Now let's head out one more time. Now we actually need to go find the the Mozwood. Now this one's a little bit tricky to get, and sometimes you gotta be very careful on how you get there. Okay, now I believe it is just right over 
here. Ah, there's my destination, but I missed it. Shoot. Okay, let's try this again. By the way, I've... yeah, so you see I'm moving a little bit faster because I'm actually sailing in the direction that the wind is going. Now, you can see which direction the, uh, the wind will be going next. Uh, see, so right now it's going to the, up and to the left. I'm pretty soon it's going to go directly to the right. Yeah, see? That makes things a little easier. Okay, now I want to loop around here. Stop! Okay, so let's loop around because I want to stop off at this red flag right here. Okay, let's explore here. Alright. And if we open this chest... Manly clothes! Very nice. Um, okay, well, that's not really what I'm looking for, but that'll work. Okay, looks like there's something over there, so let's uh, head over there. And I got lucky with the wind. Let's take a look and see what's over here. Oh, wait, huh? I thought it was next to the red flag. Oh, crap. I guess I need to get into that little cove. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be trapped, cut off there. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go around. Okay, no big deal. All right, back to port. Okay, now before moving on and actually getting the mozweed, which is what we need, um, we need to actually there's a, a we need to talk to a couple people to trigger the event that we need to happen. There's a sick pab pab. Yeah, some mozweed. It is a problem. That's true. Uh, now, in order to... Actually, first I want to talk to this guy, because he's going to give us some information that we need to remember for a little bit. I do, yes. Northwest of Schick. Oh, I see. You remember that for just a little bit, BCH Universe, because we're going to be using that information here in just a little bit. Now, if you go up here, talk to this person. Yes. The Nameless Island. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, you need to uh, talk to them before triggering this event. Now watch what happens when we get back on the ship. Yes, get back on the ship, please. Yeah, and it triggers that new event there. So that's how we, that's how you need to get there. So, let's get going. And let's just head out there. All right, and you should be able to make it there. Ooh, the wind's helping us. That's great. But you should be able to make it there pretty easily, even if the wind isn't really, uh, isn't really helping yet. Now, like I said, you have to trigger that event. If you just go to explore here, uh, you can't, and it and you get the scene at the boat where nothing is happening. But now, if you go here, hmm, this could be Mozweed. But how the heck are we gonna get some? Well, if Ryu just slashes at it, ha ha, we get the Mozweed. Very nice. Now, the good thing is. We can do this over and over and over again and get a bunch of moz weed. And what I like about that is, I'll show you here. What it does, yeah, so you see how the panacea restores a status of one target? Well, so does a moz weed. So basically, you can get yourself infinite panaceas uh, if you want here. So you just get, uh, yeah, so this is good. So I like this. There you are. So anytime you need some panaceas, just come here and pick some up. And I might off, I'll probably come back off screen and get like 99 of them because I can. Okay, very, 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 very good. Um, okay, so now there's a couple more items that we can get here. So let's see if we can get them. First, we need to go back to lip. Okay, now let's see if we can get this item here. Now, this one's a little tricky to get to, and I can't... It might take me a couple tries to get it here. Uh, let's see. Get up this way. It might be through here. Okay, we're just going to wait. Yeah, I, I believe it's through here. Yeah. Okay. I, I know. I, oh, what? Is that right? No, it looks like it's down that way. Okay. 
Okay, take three. Now you definitely need to make use of the wind in order to get the, tr the, the item that I want to get. But such is life, BCS Universe, such is life. Ooh, wow, we're motoring. Okay, uh, no, 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 go this way, please. Thank you. Stop. Yeah, you want to drop your sail so that you're not going too far out of the way there. Okay, and I should be able to get some... I'm going to say, now to get the chest that I want to get, or the treasure that I want to get, you really need to make use of the wind. Because your supplies are just... Your supplies are just... Uh, so limited for this one. Okay, now over here. Down this way. And give myself just a little boost. Look around this way. You can also tell, by the way, the uh, the impact or how how much s speed you're gonna have based upon how big the arrow is. See? Yeah, look at this. This is great. This is going exactly the way I wanted to. Boom! And now I can use the rest of my applies to get up here. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, it took three tries. I'm surprised. So definitely need you to make use of the win for that. And for going all the way, we get a harmonic ring. So let's see what that does. Increases the chances of performing a combo hit. Okay, so that can be helpful if you're trying to get combos and stuff like that. I don't really care about that. By the way, don't forget the manly clothes um, is like having a, a soul ring there. Well, I really need to rest up, so. Okay, now there's one more thing that I want to do. So I'll meet you back at Lip to do the one final thing that we can do with this little mini game. Okay, there's one more thing that we can do uh, here in the ocean. Now, you remember what that guy said? about seeing a strange snake-type creature. Well, let's go see if we can find this strange snake-type creature. Now, I believe if you go right... Stop. I believe if you go right here and search this area right here... Ha-ha! Now we've got that creepy little dragon music. And if you talk to this guy, this is Hairyong. Wow, and this is the king of the sea. Wow. Wow, and he once again, a guy who doesn't have much of a social life, he knows he knows every fish in the world. Please help me. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, this looks like a badass. And he is. We are able to get upon the Sea Dragon's power, and we learn a new spell, Flood Tide. Sweet. Okay, I will meet you back at Lip... Actually, no, I'll meet you back on, back on, uh, back on the world map, so we can deliver this Mosweed, because that's all we can do here. Okay, one other thing I'll tell you about the, the ship uh, mini game there is that you can actually sail from Shik. If you're having a hard time getting the Mosweed and treasures on that side of the world map, or of the ocean there, just go back to Shik, talk to the guy there, and you can sail from there, go directly south to the to the nameless island and pick up the Mosweed there. So just keep that in mind. But let's for right now head to the Pab Pab village. And let's give that guy, let's give that Pab Pab some medicine. And if you may recall, he's up here. And out here. And through this way. Sure did. Alright, let's do it. So if you talk to him. Hopefully I didn't give it to all of them, because... Oh, did it work? Uh-oh, he might explode! <laughs> but, puka puka, whatever will be, will be. And it looks pretty sunny outside, so, I don't know, maybe the sun doesn't set here? Uh. 
You know where, cuz? I don't know. Ugh. I always seem to yawn whenever Ryu yawns. I don't know. He just has that effect on me. Maybe if I can't sleep at night, I'll just play Breath of Fire 4 and just watch Ryu and I'll get tired. Hey, hey! It looks like it worked! Woohoo! Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you. What the hell did he just say? Hey, no problem. Hey, no problem. We're happy to help. Whatever will be, will be. Absolutely. So it's like Huku Hakuna Matata, right? Maybe? Things will all work out in the end. I absolutely agree with that. Very good. Are we going to pet him? <laughs> absolutely. Now! Night. Now, treha, that's an important word. That means treasure. So basically what he's saying is somewhere between lip and shik, there is a treasure for us. So, hey, no problem. Happy to do it. What? What's going on there, buddy? Oh, the tide's going out. Oh, fantastic. And now we can cross the flats. Very nice. And make our way south. I like that. Okay, gotta hurry. Oh, man. Well, we gotta. We better hurry and get down there. Hey, no problem. Again, Bade was a master in Final Fantasy... Final Fantasy... Breath of Fire 3. I think. Perichi Puka Puka. Absolutely. And now if we go this way, yeah, there's a new place for us to explore. And actually, I'll head down there to the question mark. Okay, uh, I thought I might be able to warp there, but I can't. But the guy did say something about a treasure at Lip. So let's go see if we can find it, because treasure. Okay, and I just off-screened here, uh, because you didn't need to see me getting back on the ship. Okay, now... You can figure out what the translation says but by talking to the the, uh, the guy there. But basically, all you need to do is line yourself up with these four rocks once you've healed the, the, uh, healed the Puka Puka, or healed the Pab Pab, rather. And if you go here, this chest appears. And we get a Divine Helm, which is a new... Pe which is a new... A new uh, accessory there. Not only does it increase your defense, but it protects against instant death. So that can be pretty good. Um, you may want to get... I don't think... I don't think she can equip that. Yeah, unfortunately she can't equip that. Uh, so you're going to have to give it to somebody who... I'll probably give it to somebody who is able to bring people back to life. Um, can he... Yeah, he, so size can raise people from the dead. So I'd probably say that's a good... He's a good choice. To equip, can he equip it? Yeah, he can. Perfect. Lowers his speed. Well, lowers his speed by quite a bit, though. Uh, yeah, but I want to be able to protect against instant death. That's that's pretty important. Um, so let's give the speed boots to somebody else. Let's give them to Ryu there. Yeah, because I like that. I like to have somebody that has really high agility. Um, actually, you know what? That might be a bad idea. Well, no, because she stats changing attacks. Yeah, she, she needs to be able to do that so she can heal. Okay, cool. All right, very good. So now I will meet you back on the world map. Okay, made it back here to the world map, and I'm going to show you one more thing before I wrap up today. So remember when I said you can get a bunch of moss, or moss woods and you only use up one? Well, or moss weeds, rather? But yeah, look, see, I still have 13 moss weeds, and I can restore the status of one target. So that's pretty cool. Um, super vitamin, which can restore all HP to one target, which is pretty nice. By the way, uh, some of the fish um, that you've caught have different effects, too. So basically, they can be, they're kind of like healing items. So if you ever need to get some healing items, just go fishing, and you can get that there. So something to keep in mind for sure. Like this is 1,200 HP to one target, which is pretty nice. Uh, nullifies all assist magic. So, you know, some interesting stuff there. 
but uh, so keep that in mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do between now and, and next time is I'm going to go and get like, a bunch of moz weeds, probably like 99 moz weeds, so that I can never have to worry about status ailments again, and then we'll continue on with the story. But what awaits us now that we can cross the tide? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.